Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Kevin here, top one financial advisor. And best-selling author. We are here to talk about the stock market. All right, today we got a little bit of inflation news. Today we found out that the CPI, Consumer Price Index, has dropped 0.1% in December of 2022. So in this video, we need to explain what does that mean for us as consumers? What does it mean for us as investors? And what could that mean for the rest of 2023? Because at least at the time I'm doing this video, the stock market responded pretty positively. And so far, though it is extremely early, the market is up a little bit over 3% on the year. Again, super early. I wouldn't really take that much from it right now. So let's go ahead and discuss. Remember, CPI is Consumer Price Index that basically takes a basket of goods, what the textbook will tell you, and measures it from now or the last month, which was December, to last December. And also, it gauges how fast or slow prices are rising month over month. And from November to December, prices across the board dropped 0.1%. That's good because uh, if you look here, it wasn't always that good. <laughs> As you can see, at some months it was 0.5% higher than the previous month. At some points it was, you know, less than that. But you can see this is a, a trend in the right direction and it's something that we expected because that's what is supposed to happen when you raise interest rates. And it has a somewhat of a catch-22. It makes things more expensive when you raise interest rates for people like me and you, but also inflation makes everything more expensive as well. So again, catch-22 to a degree, the market is up, and we have already been told by the Fed, and we've talked about this last month as well, that they are going to continue to raise interest rates, but they may not be as aggressive as they have been in the past. So we're used to 0.75% or 75 basis points uh, increases in interest rates. Perhaps they go down to 0.5, which is what they did last time. Perhaps at some point in 2023, it'll just be 0.25. We don't know exactly yet how aggressive they are going to be, but they say be less aggressive. Now, for the market, this is generally a pretty good thing at this point, judging very early from what the stock market did today and kind of what it has been doing so far this year. If we can get inflation down, that makes things more affordable for me and you and also makes things a little bit more affordable and predictive or predictable rather for a lot of companies. We have seen whether it's Target or almost any company that just sells physical goods that inflation has been really eating them and tearing them apart in terms of you know, cutting their margins. That's the, the margins are what they pay for it, for what they're selling for it. They want big margins, right? Everybody does. I'm going to buy something for a dollar and sell it to you for 10. That'd be great. However, if that thing that cost me a dollar is now $6, then my profit is only four. And that is going to put a lot of pressure on me. I got to be very efficient with my capital. That's a technical term. Basically means I got to be real careful about how I spend my money. If I spend it wrong, if I invest in the wrong places, that is going to hurt the company. And that is what happened to Target and several other companies in 2022. Now, should inflation continue to fall, which I mean, on paper, and we've said this before, when you raise interest rates, the, the market does react, but inflation almost always falls. And that should be something that is relatively positive throughout the year. However, that doesn't mean that every type of stock is going to respond in the best way. Sometimes it works, sometimes it hasn't. If you go back even to the 80s, it can really be a mixed bag between what stocks are best and what stocks you know, are, are struggling. However, I've said this before as well, the balance sheet does kind of give you some indication. And also, you have to take a step back. Interest rates and inflation is going to be a major part of 2023. It would not be the only thing. There are other factors that you do want to pay attention. Russia and Ukraine, still a thing. It shouldn't be a thing, but it is still a thing. And we don't know when, how that is going to go. But also with the rising cost of money, which is what happens when you raise interest rates, that can be an issue for some companies and not others. So it really depends on how much money you have. And also pay attention to consumer behavior, pay attention to uh, competition. That is something that is going to happen. An example, Warner Brothers, which owns HBO Max, raised the cost of their ad-free version of, of their subscription service um, for streaming. That's going to have an impact, right? Are people going to cancel their HBO and then move to Disney Plus? How is Disney Plus going to adjust their rates? What is this going to mean for Netflix? There are a lot of factors that are in play. What I would urge you to pay attention to are two things. 
Okay, two things I'll tell you to pay attention to. Number one is the balance sheet. We talked about that before. I even did a breakdown inside of the members only last week where I did a deep dive breakdown going into the numbers on how you can tell. In this case, it was WWE, but talked about, you know, here's the money they have. Here's what makes sense and why this may or may not be a good business. They were also acquired by the Saudi um, investment fund. We can get into that later. Um, so that was that's one thing that you can do. The other thing is you do really want to pay attention to momentum. That is how fast or how um, how well is a company moving over the last, let's say, six months to a year, and what what was the catapult for that? Why did that company do well? Because what worked in 2022, especially I would say the back half of quarter three and quarter two, is most likely going to repeat itself at least for the first half of 2023. That is not a guarantee. Okay, that's not a guarantee, but a pattern has already emerged. Interest rates or inflation rather has has been slowing down. It's not the first month that it has happened. Okay, it has been slowing down for quite a while. I would really say since August. And if a company did well from August through December, and we'll see what what happens in January and February and March. But generally, at this point, we know interest rates are going down. We know the market tends to rise during this time. You might want to go back and see, like, hey, what was what were the best stocks in Q3 and Q4, and should that continue, or what is out there that may help it continue in 2023? Uh, one of my favorite stocks I've talked about before, and we definitely uh, discuss this as a member only, members only, is PCG. They're an energy company for electric, right? So electric and gas, but specifically, you're going to burn a lot of energy in a time like this. That might be something that is still going to continue, but definitely continue on the back half of 2022. And it's like to continue as it stays cold and people still use electricity, which is still happening today, is going to be something that you do want to pay attention to. So if you want me to do a full breakdown video on what may work um, and you know what momentum things to look for, just let me know in the comments. Uh, another thing that you want to pay attention to, I've said this before. Things like Smuckers and, and General Mills, stuff that people have to have anyway, playing the middle is what we talked about earlier this year. That is something that you do want to pay attention to as well because you're going to get solid dividends in most cases. And I already know people are still going to eat food. And I know that these companies have done well. And that is something that you can almost bank on in terms of, hey, my, my risky thing, my tech stock didn't work, but I do know that people are still going to be eating cereal. And that is something that can help out your portfolio as well. All right. You have two things to do, okay, before we go. Number one is if you want me to cover a specific topic or kind of give you a list, I know we want to do the REITs video, so I'm researching some things. I want to give you some good REITs. I just want to throw stuff out there, and I'm having a hard time finding some good REITs. So I am finding, uh, pulling some things together to make a REIT video. If you want me to do any other list, let me know in the comments too. The other thing is you have noticed here, I'm playing around with the lights. Let me know if you like the light setup because I'm doing this for y'all. <laughs> So that the video is higher quality as we grow and move into 2023. Uh, let me know if it, if it works, it's too dark, it's too light, whatever. Let me know in the comments because, again, this is y'all channel. That's what I do. All right. That is it for me. Talk to you later.